Um, only nigga I ever really like talked about the most is Mozzie. You know what I'm saying? His record's hella good, so I ain't got to worry about no snitch shit on him. King Erner, I guess he wanted to follow uh, Alpo. You know what I mean? If you've seen Peyton Fold, you know Alpo is a camera and he plays Alpo, a snitch ass nigga. He made money, but I don't give a fuck, you told. Nigga, I don't give a damn about his killer story. I don't give a fuck about none of his gangster shit the nigga fucking told. Like a mark, and niggas want to give him saying niggas want to give him credit because, uh, oh, he told him some out of town. Niggas, nah, fuck that. That nigga told, period, nigga. So the nigga told so so um uh, King Erner made a whole document like you know what I mean he like really just used him to get his motherfucking uh views up you know talking about Alpo and how Alpo out and Alpo here Alpo there and niggas be fucking with Alpo still even though he's snitch which I really don't understand because like like I said before this snitching shit is just nothing but a fucking fantasy and myth. Niggas, if niggas looking at life and death, they always don't choose life. You know what I'm saying? Ain't too many hardcore niggas like that no more. They was born back in those days. They don't give a fuck to do time for a nigga. Niggas ain't doing time for nobody. So there's snitches everywhere. That's why Alpo is still famous. Because there's snitches everywhere. Niggas ain't willing to do the time for nobody. Is who who can tell first? You know what I mean. If you don't tell, I'ma tell. You know what I mean. Motherfuckers is over here doing crimes and hoping and wishing that they're coded fitting and don't tell them. That's where we at in these times. We ain't went them old ass times where y'all old ass niggas was stupid as fuck and you'll do twenty years. Like I said, so when I look at back at that, okay. Nigga was fucking with Alpo because the nigga he was. He was a rider. He did all this shit. But at the end of the day, he snitched. So, you know, Key Erner was doing some shit trying to get his publicity up. I don't blame him because, nigga, when we cloud chasing him, you got cloud chase to the top. And I guess, nigga, Alpo gave him a phone call. And, you know, this one day I follow, you know what I mean, I subscribed to him, death of a cloud chaser. He, he was like, okay, well, you got exposed, and then he gave you a call. But my thing is, you know, to you, death of a cloud chaser, my thing is to you, like, do you feel like King Erner was wrong for talking about this snitch-ass nigga like that? Do you feel like Alpo's a real nigga still, even though he told? Do you feel like he's a real nigga? See, because like I said, like, there's old way of thinking, an old niggas way of thinking, and new niggas way of thinking. New niggas, they still fuck with snitches. They had say hello snitches and talk to snitches on the phone daily basis. Have dinner with snitches in the morning. Have dinner, have, have, have breakfast with snitches in the morning. Have lunch with snitches, dinner with snitches. These niggas fuck with snitches on a regular basis. They get told him three or four times, still fuck with snitch. So really, is is you is is he a fake nigga for sn- fucking with a snitch, or is he a real nigga? That's what we fighting in the millennium of 2019. Niggas can't even clarify what's a real or nigga and a fake nigga because y'all label snitch niggas as fake niggas and. Niggas gotta say something about snitching, nigga. Bring paperwork. That's all I'm saying. If a nigga's a snitch, if a nigga's on paperwork telling, that nigga's a snitch. Fuck you.